the work of those iniquities. He said, stop tripping. Don't worry about it. He said, don't, don't, don't desire what evil people have. You may have to look at TV on these reality shows and we call them these rappers and celebrities and we want what they have, but don't you know everything they have don't really belong to them. They live in elite houses and they rent houses and they rent cars and you think that they live in the life, but you really don't understand that God is taking care of you better than they are. He said, don't be envious of these workers of iniquity. Don't worry about these evil doers. And look where this is the part where you can shout. He says, For they shall sue. Be cut down like the grass. And wither as the green earth. The Lord again, believer, does not need to preoccupy himself or herself. With the evil doers, because the Bible says evil people won't be here always. Uh, and that's where some of us mess up. We don't read the Bible. So we don't know that evil people ain't going to be here always. This is why the believer finds joy in tribulation. You ought to shout when people are talking about you. You can be talking in cussing. The Bible says, bless it, all day. Don't go me right here. But when, when men speak evil against you, that you're blessed. You see, we want everybody to like us. We want we want to have the most likes on our Instagram and Facebook. Don't go help me right here. But the Bible says you've got to be weary when everybody likes you. It's good to have some haters. It's good to have a Judas in your circle. Because Judas will keep you on your knees. After Judas, I found out it's good to have a Judas in the church. Sometimes I remember, you know, I ain't been pastoring long. I've been pastoring long enough. You know, everybody in the church ain't saved. Guess what? It didn't take me long in the past to figure that out. And I found out that even in the church, you still got some Judas on it. Let me tell you, because you might be sitting next to Judas, so I'll help you identify Judas.
it also says, trust in the Lord. And do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord. And he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Commit your ways to the Lord. Trust also in him. And he shall bring it to prayer. David says, trust in the Lord. And here's the key. And do good. You can't trust in the Lord and be evil at the same time. We call that spiritual schizophrenia. And I'm talking about that a lot of Christians are bipolar schizophrenia. They will come to church and run all around the church and shout and tell all this good carpet and they get outside and won't tell you hello. They will hurt you with smile in your face and then go right out here on the education of that. And then talk about the person who was next to you, and they will talk about you to them. Y'all will help me. And you still depressed. 
Why would I come to church? You're talking about being faithful to God. You're not faithful to your wife or your children. You can't say amen, say ouch, get mad, come back next time. Why, why would I come to church when the church is not doing good? You know the church, we should be feeding the homeless. The church, we should be building houses. I gotta say amen. The church should be reaching out and getting drug dealers and drug addicts off the street. The church of the living God should be mobile and moving. You don't come here every Sunday just to look good with your Gucci and Prada and red bottom shoes. You come here to be active in the kingdom. But I thought out, Dr. Timothy, you know why we can't buy houses? You know why we can't open schools? Because Negroes don't want to give their money to the church. Thank you. 